Aloha, my friends, and welcome to another episode with Maui Craft Kitchen. My name's Don, and if you're new to this channel and you wanna learn how to make delicious food completely from scratch, be sure to take a minute now and hit that subscribe button. Go on, click subscribe, we'll wait. Okay, now that everybody has had a chance to subscribe, I am so excited to share with you today's episode. We are going to learn how to make our very own sourdough starter. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Don, there are already a hundred videos on YouTube about how to make a sourdough starter. And you're right, great videos. Go watch them, fantastic stuff. But do they have the money-saving trick that I'm going to teach you today that could save you over $100 a year? That's right, $100 a year. Before we dive into this, let's head on over to our MCK 101 classroom and learn a little bit about sourdough starter. Ta-da! Okay, you caught me. It's still my kitchen. I've told you before and I'll tell you again low budget production. But just because we're in a kitchen doesn't mean we can't learn something. Sourdough starter. Where did it come from? What is it? Why would you want to use it? 3,500 years ago. Yeah, 3,500 years. 1500 BC, the Egyptians stumbled upon sourdough starter. How they did this is still up in the air among food historians. And just short of hopping inside Doc's car and going on back in time, you and I are never really going to find out. But because they did, we still have a wide variety of foods that we know and love to this day, 3,500 years later. I think that's pretty cool. What is sourdough starter? Simply put, natural yeast. It's a natural form of the dried stuff that you're gonna find on the supermarket shelves. And just like it feeds us, we need to feed it in order for it to stay alive. Lastly, why do we wanna use sourdough starter? The enzymes that are in your starter basically begin to digest the food for you, making it a lot easier for your body to process and digest. Now that we have some knowledge under our belts, let's work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. Let's show some aloha to Rob the camera guy. Thanks for holding that camera steady, my friend. Now, the only two ingredients you're going to need to make your own sourdough starter are water and flour. That's it. But in order to understand what we're doing today and the money-saving technique that we're going to learn, you must first understand bacteria. Now there are good and there are bad bacteria. We're obviously going to focus on the good bacteria today. And bacteria multiply when you feed them. So if you picture bacteria like a bunch of little baby birds, all with their own little mouths to feed, then the more mouths you have to feed, the more flour you need, the more food, more money, right? So by scaling the amount of flour that we use way back, we're creating less bacteria, less mouths to feed, less flour, less money, right? Now that we understand basic bacteria, let's start on the starter. The first rule about sourdough starter is, you don't talk about sourdough starter. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it's a joke. The first rule about sourdough starter is, you need to come up with a good name for your sourdough starter. They say that it's bad luck to not name your starter. Have I tested this? No. But it's just good fun, so just come up with a good name for it. The name that I chose for mine is Lono. Lono is the Hawaiian god of fertility, agriculture, rainfall, music, and peace all rolled up into one god. So being Maui Craft Kitchen, I figured it was pretty fitting. Now most recipes that you're going to find are going to call for one cup of flour and one cup of water. As we now know, this just creates more mouths to feed. And just to do a little basic math for you, the flour that I use is $1.50 a pound, and one cup of that flour weighs roughly 125 grams. Now, if I feed my starter every day, like we're going to, one cup of that flour for an entire year, 
I will have spent $153 just keeping my starter alive. But if I tone that flour way back to five grams a day, then get this, I'll have only spent $6 for the entire year. That's a savings of $147. And that is why I love this method. So all we're going to do is use our 100% hydration rate, which is equal parts by weight, five grams water, five grams flour, and mix it into the receptacle of our choosing. Now that everything's all mixed together, we're going to put a loose fitting lid on it and leave it at room temperature for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you should have something that looks like this, a bit more hydrated. All we're going to do to keep this alive is mix five grams of flour, five grams of water, and dip the tip of a spoon into yesterday's starter. We know that this little bit of starter has a lot of bacteria, a lot of mouths to feed. So we're going to stir the new starter with this starter spoon. Now we'll get rid of this one, and this becomes the new Lono. Now over time, you're going to notice this rise and fall and rise and fall as you feed it, just like it should. That's completely normal. You may also encounter a flat period where it does absolutely nothing that's normal too, just keep feeding it. Stay diligent, it'll bounce back. And that's all there is to it, to making your own sourdough starter. Keep feeding it and keep it alive. Congratulations, you're now the proud owner of your very own sourdough starter. Keep it healthy and keep it fed. Don't forget to follow Maui Craft Kitchen on Facebook and Instagram for kitchen pro tips and to find out what's cooking next. I can't thank you guys enough for watching. Many mahalas and much aloha.